operational circuit any digital any digital logic circuits will be designed in two types so what are those two is one is combinational circuit and the other one is sequential circuit there will be two types of digital circuits let me take this there will be two types of digital digital circuits and what are those one is combinational circuit cc i am writing and the other one is sequential circuit this we will discuss <coughs> in unit 3 entire combinational circuit sequential circuit this we will discuss in unit 4 okay so now let me start with the combinational circuit so what is combinational circuit is just uh, before going for a combinational circuit it is made up of what you need to know combinational circuit is made up of logic gates okay what is this actually it is a circuit made up of combination of logic gates that that is designed to solve a specific purpose and so on based on the type of purpose or based on the type of application that you are want to design based on that certain logic gates will be selected and those com 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 combination of that will be selected so what is this combinational circuit is it is a circuit made up of combination of logic gates that are designed to solve a specific purpose okay so now you must know the differences between combinational circuit and sequential circuit why because in a combinational circuit in the third unit especially we need to design an based on the problem statement we need to design a combinational circuit for designing you must know what is combinational circuit first based on that you can design okay so combinational circuit is what the output depends only on its present input the output depends only on its input at that time means what let us consider uh, for yesterday's class i have let us consider for sake of understanding yesterday from last one week i am posting some assignment questions in the google classroom right so among all 60 students two students i noted that or who are those two students let us for sake of understanding there is roll number 2 and roll number 3 not submitting the assignments at all okay not submitting the assignments or not answer whenever i am asking any question not answering okay so what happens if if they are not answering means i will keep it in my uh, uh, mind saying that yes these are the two students not answering uh, not giving any reply hope these two students may may fail in my subject i will consider right so what what i am using here for the next class when I, whenever i am explaining whenever i am explaining i will notice those two students whether they are regular or not whether they are answering or not how how means where i am storing where where the information is present is there is a brain so in my brain i am stored the uh, the information call there are two students those who are not regular to the classes not attending my classes so here what combinational circuit will not use any uh, brain means what memory blindly uh, if there is a given input based on the given input the output will be generated for sake of understanding let me take an example let me take an example what example let us take an and gate okay so combinational circuit is what this is your and gate this is your and gate this is your output okay so output x will depend on the input only is combinational circuit how so i'm if i am placing 1 1 1 the output for this case will be 1 so now i want to change in presently i want to change instead of 3 ones i want to place in the input as 1 0 so based on this input the output will be changing now the output will be what not 1 the output will be 0 so if any combination is zero in and gate the output will be zero so what will be there the output will be zero means the in combinational circuit the output only depends on the present input is combinational circuit means if you uh, I, i will not store your previous history your previous no, uh, whether you are good to my class whether you are bad or what you are uh, whether sure if i want to take any kind of a revenge it is not possible in combinational circuit why because there is no brain we are not storing any memory in this at presently what input you are giving based on that the corresponding output will be generated is combinational circuit now let me go for sequential sequential is what sequential logic circuit output depends both on its previous output and its current input 
okay so previous output so we will take the previous output previous output was what one this output will also be taken as a input so you will get the output so what is this sequential circuit is let us consider a patient went to a doctor okay when a patient went to a doctor doctor asks that what are your symptoms is the patient says that uh, i'm suffering from p fever so just to uh, give your previous uh, scan the reports just some they uh, the doctor will ask that what are all the previous history what are all the scans that you have done what are all the operations that you have done for the previous one year so that i can analyze what is the problem so means what so the patient will bring all the scan the previous history one year uh, scan the reports and will show to the doctor saying that these are the previous uh, scan the reports so based on the previous scan the report and the current situation of the patient current situation is suffering from something suffering from fever or suffering from headache based on the previous history of the corrected scan the reports and the present situation doctor will give what a treatment so in the same way sequential circuit is what the output depends on the previous output and the current input okay whereas combinational circuit if you are going for a patient uh, doctor patient is not asking any previous history based on the current situation corresponding treatment is taken uh, corresponding treatment is given to the patient is combinational circuit okay now for uh, let us consider patient is showing all the previous scan reports right so in the same way where an information will be stored in the computer for pre for storing the previous information ekkad pettukuntam storage where we will store ma for showing the book ha huh? where we will store ha huh? where we will store the previous information systems you try to consider your computer is there you are storing a what a movie where you will store memory right so it will there will be so many different types of memory existing whether it is secondary memory whether it is a main memory primary memory so we need to store somewhere in the memory so if you are not have a, a, a human brains if you are not storing anything means it will be like what combinational circuit but for sequential circuit if you, if you consider a system it should have a brain it should have a memory so if it, it should have a memory for uh, storing the data so for that here yeah, try to try to concentrate ma uh, this is your combination i will show the combinational circuit diagram so that you can understand so this is your combinational circuit combinational circuit output depends only on the present input let us consider this is n is a input and m is output okay now if i want to convert this to sequential circuit how what to do this is your block diagram of sequential circuit the same sequential circuit i want to convert to uh, the same combinational circuit i want to convert to sequential circuit what should i do i need to maintain a memory this is your memory mm, what i will do whatever the output is there i will let's save it inside this memory means if you if doctor asks you to show the previous previous scan the report if you keep safely then only that will be used right if you throw what happens that way you cannot show it to the doctor so in the same way the output we are saving inside a memory okay and next is what i am giving back this as a input this sequential circuit so in a sequential circuit along with the input we are also passing the previous output we are also passing the previous output is sequential circuit okay understood the difference between sequential and combinational circuit combinational circuit is what this is your sequential circuit combinational circuit is what output only depends on the present input okay so see here see here combinational circuit is what input output so the output only depends on the present input whereas in sequential circuit the output depends on the present input as well as the previous output is it clear everyone is it clear mm, yes okay. now now try to understand 
now i said that combinational circuit is what it is a combination of logic gates now you should get one question that if it is a logic gate tell me the and gate how many input combinations will be there how many output combinations will be there first consider what i said combinational circuit it is a combination of logic gates designed for specific purpose okay so as uh, i said it is a combination of logic gates you must know how logic gate will work in uh, let us consider let us take an and gate so for and gate how many inputs will be there how many outputs will be there uh, how many inputs how many outputs and gate and take with some example i don't want exact la exact answer hi how many inputs how many outputs and am i audible yes ma'am uh, then answer ma and get and get till now i discuss let me show till now what i discuss i have given three inputs but how many outputs will be there three one out only one out Uh, yes, the inputs may be any. It may be two inputs, or it may be three inputs, or it may be four inputs, or how many inputs are there? N number of inputs, but the output will be one. But this is not the same case in combinational circuit. But this is not the same case in combinational circuit. See here. Here, if you are passing n inputs, we may have m outputs. Or if you are passing n inputs, we may have m is uh, we can it it may be equal or it may it may not based on the what type of application that you are doing. If you go for one example, it will be clear. Okay, so combinational circuit. The output of combinational circuit at any instance of time depends only on the levels of presented. presented input terminals okay so at that particular position what values are there presently those values will be considered and the corresponding output will be generated the combinational circuit do not use any memory i already said that previous history knowledge will not be present only the output depends on the current input what we are passing the previous state of input does not have any effect on the present state of the circuit okay a combinational circuit can have n number of inputs and m number of outputs see here the classification of combinational logic circuits so just now i said that in the second unit we have multiplexers demultiplexers encoders decoders this you can understand i cannot directly go for we we need to start with multiplexer multiplexer is a type of combinational circuit means given an in, uh, input the output purely depends on that input only not the previous uh, values okay so this is your common now can anyone tell me some example for sequential circuit some example for sequential circuit let us consider counter so counters for example for a count counters first will be 1 next will be 1 plus 1 you will be getting 2 next will be 2 plus 1 will be getting 3 next will be 3 plus 1 will be getting 4 okay means what the present input is this one the present input is you are you are passing the present input as 1 the previous one is what the previous one is based on this only you can able to identify the value of the counter this is your means this is a counter is an example of sequential circuit means the present along with the present input it also takes the previous uh, output so that it can generate a counter sequence why why there is a need of generating a counter sequence can anyone tell me the applications of counters where we will use counters well where we will use counters what is the need of uh, implementing this counters in digital circuit if you see washing machine if it starts is it in a counter position yes it starts with 0 0 0 seconds and then next uh, uh, it shows that uh, 20 minutes completed 30 minutes completed yes 40 minutes completed now it is incremental process right 1 1 1 1 so in such cases so sequential circuits are very important sequential circuits are very important so you must understand what you are doing then what you are designing it is easy now sequential circuits we need to study in fourth unit but now let us concentrate on combinational circuit so in combinational circuit is given an input output will be generated examples is arithmetic and logical units in alu alu as everyone knows that alu 
this is your CPU. Inside CPU, you will be having ALU for performing arithmetic and logical operations, ALU. So example of combinational circuit is ALU. Huh? ALU. So uh, in that, what we will be having adders, subtractors, uh, comparators, uh, all we will have in ALU. Coming to data transmission, whenever you are internally, uh, whenever it is transmitting data, we will use multiplexers, demultiplexers, encoders, decoders. Okay. Next is code converters. As we studied so many code con code uh, codes in the first unit, like gray code, XSC code, VCD code, binary code, converting from one one code to another. In such case, we will be using combinational circuits. Okay. Now, these are the steps to be followed. These are the steps to be followed for combinational circuit. Design of combinational circuit. The design procedure involves the following steps. Okay. First step is what? Identify the problem statement. First step is what? Identify the problem statement. Second step is what? The number of available input variables and the required output variables is determined. Next is what? The input and output variables uh, determined for that you need to assign a uh, letters like if you are considering as two inputs you need to give the two inputs as some letter assigning the letter symbols after assigning the letter symbols after assigning the letter symbols we need to go for a truth table let me go for example ma, so that you can understand the steps very clearly first step is what can anyone First, design in order to design a combinational circuit, we need to follow some step in that. What's the first step? Identify the problem stated. Yeah, yes, identify the problem stated. So let us consider this is your combinational circuit. This is your combinational circuit. So I identified one problem. Let us consider for that problem. I identified that there should be two inputs for my problem statement and there should be two outputs for my statement so second step is over i identified second one is identify the number of inputs that you want for that to solve and uh, how many outputs you want so identified and for my uh, problem to be solved i want two inputs and two outputs so second step is over next step is what for input and output variables that you have uh, assigned assign the letter symbols so i need to assign the variables for this so i need, i'm assigning a b and the output as x and y okay finish the third step next step is what draw the truth table you need to truth table uh, define the truth table for that required uh, for the relation for the relation you need to give a relationship between these two input and output based on truth table okay next step is what we need to draw the truth table based on the relationship between the input and output now so the truth table will be one side will be input and the other side will be output okay so input is what according to this we have assigned the letters for input as a b for output as x y this okay now how many combinations do we get for input two combinations means how many com how many two inputs for uh, means how many combinations will get four so four combinations zero 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 one one zero one one okay so based on this what application that you are doing what what for what purpose you are doing the output will be generated so for this sake for sake of understanding let us consider this is your output or some output i have explained i want to explain the steps so i have given one output next is what next step is what after finding the truth table next up simplify the boolean function for each output op, uh, for each output is obtained okay so we have two outputs here now let us consider there is only one output means for only one ex, uh, for this one only we need to for, uh, find out the simplified expression as we have two we need to find out two if there are three we need to find out three simplified expressions for those now let me start with x X. So for doing simplification, um, Boolean expression simplification, what are the, uh, what we need to use? Ma? Boolean function uh, simplification expression, what, what I have to use? For minimization of Boolean expression, we have two techniques. What are those two techniques? Yeah, ma'am, another one is Boolean algebra. 
yes but we need to go for k maps okay as we know which one is efficient is k map so because of that we are going for a k map so boolean so for simplified boolean function for each output is obtained so based on k map so see here also oh, how uh, how many variable k map i need to select first four variable three variable or two variable Name variable select just column. Ma size of the variable K map. It won't. It won't be asked in the question. Use two variable K map. That won't be given in the question. You need to analyze based on the given number of inputs. Tell me what size I need to. Huh? Two variable. Ah, two variable K map. Okay. So for two variable K map, the input will be A, B. Okay, this I am writing for x. If again I have to write for y. Why? For each. So it is mentioned the simplified Boolean function for each output. You need to sim. You need to write a simplified for each output. If there are one more seven means seven k maps you need to do. So here as we have only two x y. So we need to write the corresponding. For y, a, b. Okay. So next is one. Uh, assign a complement a, b complement b, b complement b, a complement a. Ah, uh, next is what? Where I have to place one for x. Where I have to place one for x? Chepanamma, please answer. A complement and B complement. Yes, A complement, B complement, and A complement, B. A complement, B. And in the remaining cases, it is zero. Why? Because based on this output. Now for this, other student uh, reply ma. Uh, for this, a complement, b complement zero. A complement, b complement zero. Just give where where I have to place one. A b complement a b. Okay, this is your. Yeah. Uh, next, we need to combine this one, and we need to combine this one. Uh, what's the expression for x equals to? A complement. A complement. For y equals to a. a. Okay. So final next is what? Finally, draw the logic diagram. Finally, draw the logic diagram. So what you will do? You will mention a. A complement. And you will select, and you will write x equals to. A uh, is it a uh, y? It is y equals to a and x equals to a complement. In this way, you have to show. Okay, in this way, you have to show. Final list after simplification of k map, we'll draw the logic diagram. So logic diagram I will explain with the other x expression one. A b plus c. If it is the final output for x equals to, let us consider only one output x equals to. A B plus C. So, how to draw the logic diagram for this? Hope everyone knows this. This is not the first time I'm explaining this. So, how many gates we will be utilized in this map? Three gates, ma'am. Three gates. One is for A B. One is for A B, and the other one is for C. So three gates will be utilized if there is any complement of this. But as we have directly A B, so only two gates are used, AND gate and OR gate. Finally, you will get the expression X equals to A B plus C. So finally, you need to end with the logic diagram. Understood each and every step how to design a combinational circuit. Everyone. Yes, the main last step, sir. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma so write down the question in your notes, ma'am. First question. Write down the first question. Design a combinational circuit. Design a combinational circuit 
with two inputs with two inputs that produces high output that produces high output when gives odd number of ones when gives odd number of ones in input when gives odd number of ones in input this is your question so first you need to draw a combinational circuit identified after identifying the second step is what you need to decide how many inputs how many outputs so it is given in the question two inputs and the output will be high if the inputs have odd number of ones if the inputs have odd number of ones so i am considering one output next step is what after assign after identifying the input variables and output variables next step is what next step and amma can you tell me any one of you any one of you start ha huh? two table two table two table third step is what at the number of uh, available input variables and required output variables is determined yes i determine and i have written two inputs one output next third step is what input and output variables are assigned letter symbols what we have to do next we need to assign variable symbols are variable symbols are assigned yes uh, let me consider a b and x as output finished third step next step is what draw the truth table so how many com one side will be input in truth table the other side will be output so in the input place we need to write a b in the output place we need to write x this is your truth table uh, so as we have two inputs we will have two com four combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 one, 1 1 now tell me according to the question the output of x 0 1 1 0 yes good ma it is 0 1 1 how is it is given in the question that the output will be high if the input combination will have odd number of ones so if you see this is even if you see we have odd number of one if you see this combination we have odd number of one if you see this combination we have two ones even so placed zero so we are not placing high so this is the output now tell me the expression so the expression for x equals to directly you can write like this what a complement b plus a b complement this is your expression a com this for this one we will get we will be getting as a complement b for this one we will be getting a b complement okay this is a next step is what after truth table the simplified boolean function okay so don't do like this go for k map go for k map and tell me the answer one side will be a the other side will be b Ah, uh, zero, one, one, zero. Ah, uh, will you group like this in this diagonal way? Is it correct? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Yes, individual yes, groups. Okay. Hmm. Tell me the answer. If you A B like complement plus A complement B. Yes. A B complement plus A complement B. This is the answer. so when there is the input variables are less the simplification process is easy without going for a k map also but we can do but what if the input combinations are more the complexity increases so definitely you need to go for a k map for do, reducing that simplification expression okay so directly even for a, a number of inputs less so a number of inputs more try to uh, uh, make use of k maps make use of k maps okay next is what final is what final is what logic diagram so logic diagram final step expression is completed after finding out the simplified boolean expression we need to find we need to draw the lo corresponding logic diagram can we write this as x equals to a xor 
B, yes. While studying the gates, while studying in the first unit, I said that A complement B plus A B complement is also can be represented as A X or B. Okay. If this is a case, if you want to represent in logic diagram, how to represent? Allow to the ma gate. If A X R B. This will be the gate. You will be having A. So remember that A complement B plus A B complement can also be written as A X or B. So if you check for the truth table, you will get what's the output for uh, A X or B? A X or B output? Zero 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 one one zero. Zero one one zero. Is it odd one? While explaining XOR also, I said that it is odd one detector. Uh, I explained that it is odd one detector means if the in the present input there are odd number of ones, then uh, it is used for XOR operation. It is used for XOR operation. So here, odd as it is odd one detector. So this if you if you check with the uh, the other A complement B plus a complement, A B complement. You will also get like this the output. Okay. So now, if you see this, someone they will not write like A A X or B. They will uh, they will write as it is. If they will write as it is, means one more diagram yeah, we have, have to draw. What is the diagram? Fast ma. One is A, and the other one is complement of that. Next is B, the complement of that. Next is what? First, let me take this two. Let me take this two. So first one is what? Should I go for A complement B uh, or A? A complement. So this is your A complement. Next is B. So this is your B. Next, A, B complement. This is your B complement. Next, 